This next video is, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's, uh, it, it contains quite strong stuff. Um, comedy is, is very much like one's sexual preferences. Um, some people like very gentle, some people like the rough stuff, and as long as it's consenting, I'm fine. Uh, this this comedy-wise is, this is the rough stuff. This is the, the, the BDSM. So if that's not for you, if you don't even get those references, don't watch this video. Well, what I'd like to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is tell you what this show is actually about. I've had an extraordinary 12 months. I've had a life-changing experience. I was a very cynical man, and uh, I, I didn't really have any religion in my life, and I've, I've let spirituality in in the last 12 months, and it's been extraordinary. So this evening, what I'd really like to do is to test... A, I'm joking, there's no God. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're Muslim, in which case there definitely is a God. <laughs> I'm not a fucking idiot. Seriously, I don't mind upsetting the Church of England. What are they going to do? Hold a fate? <laughs> I'm sure there are Christians out there in the audience now thinking if I get hold of that Jimmy Carr, I'm going to bloody well forgive him. <laughs> Creationists, the right-wing Christians, creationists believe every word Genesis says. I don't even think Phil Collins is a good drummer. <laughs> I saw a documentary recently on Channel 4, it was all about faith. And in it, someone went, well, of course, Scientology is a made-up religion. <laughs> I thought, as opposed to... <laughs> so one of my favourite things is to get Christians talking about Scientology. Because the Christian will go, Scientologists, they're nutters, they believe in aliens. And then you can say to the Christian, what do you believe in again? <laughs> it's a benevolent zombie that's coming back to save you, isn't it? <laughs> Good luck with that, that will probably happen. <laughs> Has anyone been to Belfast? Yeah. Belfast, an amazing town, very friendly place. The amazing thing about Belfast, they can tell what religion you are just from your name. I went there with my friend Rabbi Lionel. <laughs> they just knew. <laughs> Any gay priests in? <laughs> no, I'm just, for those of you that don't know the collective noun for gay priests, priests. <laughs> it's an easy one to remember, isn't it? No, because gay priests were in the news, because if you're a gay priest, you can now marry another gay priest, and they weren't allowed to for ages, because it was going to be confusing during the ceremony, because would they say, do you take this man, or... <laughs> does he... take you? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the mummy? <laughs> Seems a bit awkward. I'd like to meet a gay priest, though, because normally priests do that sort of nomine patre, filio fish thing, whatever that is. <laughs> I imagine a gay priest to be a little bit more... <laughs> you know, a little bit more razzmatazz. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you look amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kneel down before you. <laughs> what, he hung out with 12 sailors? <laughs> Fishermen, whatever. <laughs> I'm going away, we're having a dinner, no girls. <laughs> The church wanted to move forward on female bishops, but bishops can only move diagonally. <laughs> Gay priests can move wherever they want because they are queens. <laughs> all together or not at all on the applause. <laughs> Otherwise, we've got to throw you a fucking fish. <laughs> well, thanks very much. I, I don't believe in God. I'm, I'm, I'm actually an atheist. Well, not even an atheist. But I, I, I don't believe in God. I'm not even an atheist. I, I'm, I'm what you might call an anti-theist. I think religion is a bad idea. I think it's a tool used by the powers that be to control the weak-minded in our society. But you can't pull that out of form, so I just write Church of England. <laughs> I'm actually a lapsed Catholic. Any Catholics in? Yeah. Oh, quite a few over there, yeah. I'm a lapsed Catholic. I knew my days were over in the Catholic Church when I found myself at communion thinking, I like the wine, I'm loving the wafer. <laughs> Any chance of a bit of cheese? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, though, I still respect the Pope. I like to think of the Pope as king of the pedos. <laughs> He's the best one. He's the ring leader. <laughs> He's Gary Glitter's boss. <laughs> as head of the Catholic Church, Pope Benedict is the boss of every Catholic priest in the world. He's effectively king of the pedos. <laughs> I read about a Catholic priest that exposed himself, so they defrocked him. 
They don't help themselves, do they? <laughs> well, they do, that's part of the problem. <laughs> this scandal could bring the Catholic Church to its knees. <laughs> You've got to finish that one in your own head. <laughs> Somewhat ironically. I personally, I don't think the Pope should worry about the sex scandal. It'll all get sorted out soon enough when Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, comes back from the made-up. <laughs> the other thing I've noticed with books is, like, anything with a spiritual element always does brilliantly. Look at the Bible. That's still a bestseller, even though they give it away in hotels. <laughs> I guess you could say I haven't found Jesus, but then I think Jesus should try and find me. He's omnipotent, I'm on telly. How tough's that? <laughs> Make a fucking effort, Christ. Or Christ, make a fucking effort. That works either way. I'm cynical about religion, but I'm not a cynic. I, I do believe in other things. I'm willing to believe in aliens, for example. I mean, if aliens don't exist, then who was it that abducted me at the age of 13 and transported me to a room full of weird flashing lights and subjected me to a terrifying rectal probing? <laughs> oh, that's right. It was the guy that ran the youth centre disco. <laughs> yeah. The thing that put me off religion was I was raised Catholic. Any other Catholics in? It's a weird thing, isn't it? Like, Catholic school, if you go to Catholic school, sex education is very odd. Sex education, they don't want kids to be told about sex. They want to show them. <laughs> the Catholic Church are weird. The only kind of contraception they seem to approve of is fucking young boys. When I was a kid, I had an imaginary friend, and I used to think that he went everywhere with me, and that I could talk to him and he could hear me, and that he could grant me wishes and stuff. And then I grew up, and I stopped going to church. <laughs> well, that seems to have divided the room somewhat. <laughs> there's two distinct groups there. There's people that thought that was funny, and then there's a larger group who will be going to heaven. <laughs> While we're on the subject of religion, I imagine there's quite a few people in here that go to Mass, or... Or wherever Protestants go. Hell, I'd imagine, I don't know. <laughs> Have you all seen the new Mel Gibson film? The Passion of the Christ. It's upset an awful lot of Christians. They're, very up, they're up in arms about it. He's, he's made a film about the life of Christ, but he's tacked on this silly Hollywood ending where the hero comes back at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Does she love the little baby Jesus, or...? <laughs> Does she love the little baby Jesus or not? This is quite sad. I was sexually abused as a child, and I'm worried that my personality and history will lead me to abuse others. Have you thought about a career in the Catholic Church? <laughs> Any Catholics in? Stop touching kids? <laughs> I was raised Catholic. The thing that used to annoy me about church when I was little was all the standing up and sitting down and kneeling. I wish the priest could just pick a position and fuck me. <laughs> Churches are depressing. I mean, why build all of them in graveyards? <laughs> My local church is raising money for a giant thermometer. Tell you what, let's talk about religion. That couldn't possibly upset anyone. <laughs> if Jesus is the way, and to be a Christian is to be in Christ, then aren't all Christians just in the way? <laughs> Jesus says he loves me, but I worry about the age gap. <laughs> now, you'll notice out of deference and respect, to our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, I've let him bum me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Muslim friend who's really religious. <laughs> Feel the tension in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Muslim friend who's really religious. He knows the Quran backwards, which is handy, because that's how you read it. <laughs> surprisingly well-informed and inoffensive joke about the Islamic faith. And that's because I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> what are the Christians going to do? Forgive me. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Speaking of Christians, any Catholics in? Yeah. Got a few Catholics? Catholics are a weird bunch. 
<laughs> Look at the rosary. Basically, anal beads. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and that was, that was an old clip of me. That happened in the past uh, when I was funny. I'm still funny now. Come and see me live on tour. Join in. IRL. Yeah, kids. <laughs>